Studios. Hi, I'm Olivia from Let's Go Studio, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a white logo. So a lot of people might get a logo from Fiverr or from a friend, and you might get some logo files, but not all of them. So you've got a logo, how on earth do you make it white? First of all, I just want to do, do a little quick overview of file types because it's going to be important to understanding how to make a, a white logo. So first, you've got raster files versus vector files. A raster file is in pixels, so you've got JPEGs and PNGs. Both of these you've probably heard of before. A JPEG is a flat graphic that cannot hold transparency. For that reason, it's not my favorite file type. I only use it for photos. Next up, you have PNGs. PNGs are what we need today, unless you have an SVG. PNGs can have transparency. Woo -woo. So obviously, if you try to make a white logo as a JPEG, you're going to get a polar bear and a blizzard, meaning you're not going to be able to see your logo. So we're going to want a PNG. You also have vector files. And if you've ever printed anything, you've heard of a vector file. A vector file is actually math. I won't get into the complications of it, but a vector file basically uses math to determine curves, so it's not pixels. You have an EPS, which is pretty common, but on its way out. Uh, SVG is my favorite <laughs> vector style because Canva loves SVGs. You can change the colors of your graphics if they are SVGs in Canva. So if you have an EPS logo, first try this. Click on this converter tool, grab your file, and convert your EPS to an SVG. That will allow you to change your logo. If you don't have that, then let's get into it. So first of all, a quick little demonstration. I have a blank file here. I'm going to upload a, uh, what is this? You can click on this to see. Okay, so this is a PNG. It is my old logo format. There's no way to color change it. What am I doing? Let me go over here to my actual logos. I've rebranded since. <laughs> and notice how this is called full plus dot SVG. Well, when you upload an SVG, Canva gives you these great little color tools right here. So with an SVG to make your logo white, all you have to do is click, 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 and make every part of your logo white. Awesome. Easy peasy, and it can scale indefinitely without loss of quality. So SVG is the way to go. Let's say you don't have an EPS, you don't have an SVG, what do you do? There's a great easy hack on doing this. Now, yes, this is a hacky method. I do recommend if you're up to it and you've got the chops to um, use Photopia, which is also in this tutorial. It'll give you a little bit cleaner of a file, but this method works really well for Canva. So first of all, my recommendation would be to come over here and click create a design and then click edit photo because this is actually going to crop your photo exactly or your logo exactly so that you can save it as a transparent logo file. So I'm going to open up a PNG. Awesome. So I'm opening that up. So notice how this is now going to crop exactly to my logo file. So I'm going to click edit photo. Ta-da, now my photo's open. Now so that we can see the cool white effect, I'm gonna change the background to this color right here. And oh no, my let's go has disappeared because it's not a white logo. Here's how you do it. You're going to click on effects and then duo tone. Any of them work. Click on duo tone, click on it again, then you see that duo tone is just a mixture of highlights and shadows. So let's change both of those to white, to white, and ta-da! White logo. You're just applying a white filter on top. Click apply. I always like to wait a few seconds for this to be done. Make sure you see all changes saved up here. Sometimes Canva takes a moment. We're going to change this to white logo. Next step, you're going to click download to actually use your white logo. Make sure you click transparent background and make sure this is a PNG, obviously. <laughs> um, I recommend uh, noticing what file you're uploading. Even if you make this file really big, it will be blurry if you didn't already start with a large logo. So transparent background, great. I'm gonna click download. 
Note that at this point, you're handing this logo off to Canva, or um, off to your files. So it goes from Canva to your files. So here I've saved white logo. So now I'm going to open up a different file here. And let's go ahead and place that white logo that we just made. Yay, now it's a full white logo. Awesome. So that's how you make a white logo file in Canva. It's as easy as using the duotone effect. That is the best way to do it. Just use the duotone. This also will let you recolor the logo in any way your heart's content. You just need to have the hex files. So hopefully this is a fun hack for everybody to be able to change and make this a white logo. If you like tips, I do have a design membership that teaches little things like this all the time. Be sure to go to my website and click Brand It Better. That is my design membership. I would love to have you around. Thanks so much. Hi.